turn once again I'm gonna use these guys until they are dead there's no point in keeping these guys alive so just keep going and hopefully we can get this guy before damn it blizzard always gets to me it always gets to me down goes kuru damn you kuru how you eat everybody oh god that, that's the name of disease of a disease I'll, oh, I'll give you that no get back here and preemptive attack nice I'll be able to finish these guys off no problem very nice so I'm actually gonna keep using them like I said use them until dead there's no point in keeping them alive no point whatsoever you want to be nice to Moogles you want you, you can do that some other time now everybody needs to die Blizzard Kushu will live through this I Kurin won't. Kamog does not either. Go, Kushu. I don't think Kushu's going to make it. Down goes Kushu, and we've been annihilated. But that just means it sent everybody to the back row with uh, 1 HP. That's how much they have. So no point in getting to another battle with them just yet. Now we'll take Mog's party and start trying to get some work in here. I don't think the damage carries over here. Cuckoo is, yeah, considered, I think I went over this, considered Mog's uh, girlfriend, and that's really only from the Japanese version of the game, and it's still kind of just implied. It's not actually full-on said. But down they go, 21 experience points, and Mog has mastered a new dance. So it appears that he, on top of his spear, um, no, 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 no. No, oh, get up there and attack. Yes, got there just in time before Luke got touched. Uh, he can do a dance. So, do a dance. This is more like uh, Geomancy than it is Elfire. Go, Elfire. More like Geomancy than it is dancing for if, uh, from Final Fantasy V or Final Fantasy III, if you're going by those job class descriptions. It's more like yeah, Geomancy. And I think that is the last set. Uh, yes, that is it. That is it. Let me just... Don't want to miss anything. Okay. So, let us actually unequip Mog the same way that I unequipped Coco to start this. I s still, now I'm, I'm a little uncertain whether or not I can actually name Mog later down the line, but I think it, they do give me the option. Now, with Luke's party, who ha is now at full health because they didn't get in any of the fights, we can now give Luke the Mithril Shield, just stealing from tiny little creatures. That is what we do. That tried to help us. Now I'm taking all your stuff. Luke, it is time for you to come down here and take on the boss. And it is boss time. We're up against two Lobos and the Marshal. Holy crap. Uh, we want to steal from the Marshal if we can. Could not steal. Of course you couldn't. That would be asking too much of you, Luke, wouldn't it? Damn it, Luke. Steal. Steal. Couldn't steal. Damn it. I want what he has. Charge. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Claws can only help you so much. Spears, come on, get it. Are you kidding me? Charge! Can I? I can. I can actually switch between turns now. I don't have to take people's turns. There we go. Mithril knife has been obtained. Uh, down goes Kupek. I don't think we need him to live, though. Once again, the Moogles, it's okay if they die. As long as Luke lives, then I am fine. Alright, I think we should be able to finish off the Marshal this turn. Down he goes. You know, like the, the mace was actually doing more damage than Luke. You're kind of weak right now, Luke. 24 experience points, a potion, a tonic, 410 gil. I do want that mithril knife, though. That is quite important. 
Uh, that guy is weak to poison, but we don't have any way of dealing with that. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. We always owe the Moogles. And he sucks up Coco, and he is out of there. Run, Luke, run! What? He just dropped her right there. Ah, I think the switch will... Ah, opens up the door! Secret switch in the cave! Only the treasure hunter knows about that. Yeah? You back with us now? You, you saved me. Save your thanks for the Moogles. Uh, I can't remember anything, past or present. You have amnesia. Man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. What? I won't leave you until your memory returns. By the way, this secret entrance might be useful someday. Don't forget about it. I, I will try. I, I, I don't guarantee anything, but, but I will try, Luke. And it looks like we have made it back out to the town. Can I, I don't think I can do anything else in town. Oh, no, we can go into the classroom. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> we can actually do some things in town. We're supposed to go to Figaro, but, you know, what are you going to do? This is water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Such strings, springs are located throughout the world. Sometimes. Not very often. Here, the classroom for the beginner. We answer your questions about the world. Think of us as advisors. I'll thank you as ways for me to get a couple early items. There's three, I think, in here that... No. Well, yeah, three. This is a safe point. Yes, thank you. Right. That's so weird to me that your level and, and experience data will be retained. But I guess money is lost. Just I probably won't be using that. Dang. It, it's an actual working one, too. They're hidden in pots, you say? Like this one. And here we can get a tincture. Uh, which you could have gotten if you killed the shell. It recovers 50 MP. Uh, we haven't really used MP that much yet, but you use that uh, thanks to your skills. You can see we have all these skills here. Huh. Espers. But you'll see that Coco does have Cure, which we haven't used yet, but it does exactly what you think it would. It cures HP. And then we have Fire, which we did use to kill enemies. It works that way. Then we got Sword Tech Blitz, Lore, Rage, and Dance. What the hell are those? Look, what can you do? Nothing. You can't do a damn thing. What the hell do you mean by Esper's being there? Oh, weird. So, should I need to recover MP, that is how I will do it using Dinctures instead of Ethers. Right. I think, yeah, I think I just have this mapped incorrectly. Either way, I will, I will figure out the controls. Heard about relics. Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, Sprint shoes double your speed. True Knight lets you shield others during battle. Dragoon boots add the jump command to your battle list. Gauntlet allows you to hold a sword with both hands. Very nice. Relics are more or less accessories. Uh, from, from other games. When buying armor and weapons, you'll see symbols next to your characters. Oh! It's so about time they did this. Triangles pointing up indicate increasing battle power, and down means decreasing battle power. Equals indicates no change. And E means that it's equipped. Oh. A symbol under the character means that person is now in your party. Like I said, we'll, we'll have many, many characters in this one. How to ride a chocobo? Steer... B button. Okay, once you get off the bird will return to its pen. Very interesting there. Use curative items. Right, stay at the end. Pretty, pretty basic stuff here. Sometimes monsters are inside. Are any surprise there that there's going to be a monster in there? Uh, can I steal from him? Uh, couldn't steal. Yeah, steal rate's kind of low in this game. I don't know exactly what it is, but. We'll go for fire. I mean, we got the recovery spring right there anyway. 
Got 18 experience points. Very nice. Are we going to get an item out of the chest? No. That's right. The, the spring's outside. That was just a tincture in there. Boom. Full heal. Let's just head over here then. If I select wait, which I actually will be doing because I do explain things in battles from time to time. Uh, let's hear about battle tactics. Color changes are status changes. Blue equals reflect. Yellow equals safe, which is protect. Green is shell. Or magic wall as it was in the last game. Red is haste, if not berserk. White is slow. We have seen that one. Pink is stop, which is an awful thing to have. And that's it, apparently. Damage and attack power are halved in the back row, which is why I moved just Coco to the back row, because she's not going to really be doing attacks. Yes, I went over it. Damage is more severe when caught in a pincer attack. That's because you can get attacked from behind, and there's really no back row. Use care when running. Nothing in that. Let's talk to you. Right, white numbers are damage, green numbers are recovery. You can run from battle. I probably won't be doing that. Not necessarily for something like I did in Final Fantasy V, but I, I probably won't be running from battles anyway. Yes, the, the meter is now the APP mar, the active battle. APB active power. Damn it, I forget <laughs> what it is. <laughs> it's been so long. It's the bar, yes. And then you can skip to the next character, which is lovely that they would let you do that. Yes, L and R, so you can select multiple targets. And you can select row or defense by, by switching over. And let's go back here and get the sleeping bag and, and get... Seriously, dude? Yes, thank you. Finally get out of my way. And we have just one more room to go. Really? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and listen to him. He's like, no, 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 seriously. Don't go in there. Especially since I don't have much. And we're gonna go ahead and leave. And now we have made it onto the world map. And that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my starting squad of Luke and Coco. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.